case, many people can actually be dismissive about the true cardiovascular benefits that your body can achieve. In addition, many people actually try to achieve pace through swinging the arms more. The arms become stiff and mechanical. Now this is wrong because it actually puts strain on the shoulder joint and it also means we tend to drive even more from the powerful hip flexors and quads, the very muscle group that we're trying to switch off. This is wrong. Tense, power walking style really negates on the true pace benefits. The spine becomes stiffer. It also means that we actually negate using the effective glute muscle, which we want to use with Walk Active. I talk about using your three internal body natural accelerators. These are your toe push, hip lift, and back arm swing. Your true optimal walking pace should be smooth, flowing, and gliding, not stiff, tense, and power-like. This is how you can really make your walking so much more effective. With true walk active pace, it should look effortless, but feels effortful. You're giving your body a cardiovascular benefit, as well as a postural benefit, a functional benefit, and a cosmetic body shape change. Together with the accelerators, you really do notice improvement. You can be so much more effective with your walking habits. That is how you can walk better with pace.